Hi guys, it's Anilius and welcome back to Hearts of Iron number 4. We're currently playing as Germany and we're going to carry on with, of course, our new start of a world war, which is an actual fact of the invention of the Italians combined with the British, who've become fascists. So we're different. We're basically more non-aligned. We've got a emperor back on the throne, or Kaiser, maybe I should say, but uh, we'll basically get there in a second. Let me just pause and I'll load the game. Luckily, it was a relatively quick load. So as you can see, we are currently fighting here on the front with Russia. Uh, we, of course, are also fighting down here. Maybe I should seize that, because in reality, we're, we're not making any headway there. We're just gonna see losses occur there. We, we don't really wanna focus on that as such. We've got a nice bit of fighting going on here in uh, Italy as well. We're pushing back the Italians here. France has called the Z Republic of Poland as an ally in the British-French war, really. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What is happening to these guys now? Uh, so these guys are now also fighting the Soviets. Okay. Ooh, naval report. Yes, we keep on taking out bits here. Is it us that took them out? I'm not sure. I don't know. It was... Mm, why have we got ships here? Ah, be, is, mm, really? I sometimes really do not get it. Achtung. But never mind. I don't think that's that crucial at this point in time. All right, let's push into here. Let's push into there. Push into there. Cool. The more of this we can take, the better. Because at the moment they're not really putting that many troops on this front line as of yet, which really works in our favor here. Is this actually former Prussian territory? I'm not quite sure. This is, of course, our own states. Yeah, we got nothing on that front line, which is fine for now. Let's have another look at those supplies as they flow through here. It's been recently captured, but it only needs to be converted to be able to transfer supplies. Okay, that goes relatively quick, as you can see. We do need to get oil from somewhere, though. Where do we get oil from? Oil! In Europe, I can get it from Romania. Let's get one, two, can I get three? Yeah, why not? Let's get three. And I actually thought we were getting it from multiple other parties as well at the same time. In Venezuela, okay. So if I get it from the Middle East, do I need convoys? No, I don't, it looks like. Okay. So as you can see, we got a lot of factories here working on various different bits now. Gosh. Why have we got in West, West, West are M's so much that basically has happened here? So this is... So this is West are M's. Why are we basically suffering so much over there? Are we being bombed here or being attacked here? Is, is that it? Oh, yes, we are. Interesting. 
but from where? That, of course, is a, a, a good question to ask. Let's uh, fly over there and let's try to figure it out. All right, we are going to allocate this to the same army there. German Empire is pushing them back even further. into here as well. I think they're finally getting the gist. It's not a continuous wind that they can actually get through here. They do really need to start defending this here to maintain at least some semblance of having a front line here. One day for the smoke screen generator to come through. Fan Prussian militarism, okay. So we're still in 1938 in September at this point. Hundred and ninety six days, or I can reduce that to ninety days by spending some of my hard earned experience. Ooh, okay. Um, yeah. What is this going to do? Uh, submarine torpedo attack is boosted by 20%. The same actually goes for de de destroyer torpedo attack. Let's go for that. 90 days. One percent chance of success thus far. Okay, let's uh, keep this all moving as if we can, that is. can I actually choose? I'd love to do my scavenger. Panzer expert is a great one and I can actually do scavenger at the same time. Nice. Of course again I got here stuff. Ooh, I did lose some stuff. Wasn't as big a loss as I had feared for just a brief moment. Keep this all going again. Los, los, los. Yeah, let them keep on attacking there. Take out that airport there, that would be amazing. Oh, oh they're attacking us, that, that's what it is. Right, what can we choose here? Embrace the future. Fifty 
percent chance of them getting an extra attack modifier. Yeah, embrace the future is of course a good one here to have. Also put our pressure onto them from here. The more locations we can put this through, the better. More convoys destroyed, always good. What else? Ah, we got enough points to basically get extra people with the something specialist. Well, specialist is not great, but okay. It is, of course, better than nothing, so to speak. get this position here at least I got a bit of river there to help me with the defense right. and circles of course are ideal if we can get that done Angetreten. Kind of ne neglecting what is actually happening down here, isn't it? We took Rome already. Lovely. Let's give him some proper orders here. Okay, at the moment, we've just been pushing and pushing and pushing gently into here, of course. Let's just push this onto there. I don't have any push orders on these guys as of yet. All right, keep on pushing. Now, let's have a quick look. Okay, let's push, 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 push. Okay, let's reinforce that as well. That's Minsk that we can basically potentially get our hands on. I think we got a lot of troops already engaged there, so that for the moment being is fine. So we have lost troops to the Soviet Union, as well as to Italy, but if I look at Italy here, they've lost quite a lot of troops to us. If I look at the Japanese, yes, we've inflicted losses on them. And if we basically look at the Soviets here, yes, we've inflicted losses on them as well. So our overall losses have been minute compared to some of the others, to be fair. Right. 
Ziel anvisiert. Zuhören. Angetreten. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, for now that should be fine. We're finally, yes, finally starting to see some resistance here from these enemy units here. What's their chance of reinforcement? 11%. Yeah, we can get rid of that unit there properly. Auf geht's. All right. Weiter an. Weiter, weiter. Nice. Okay, so. Abstand halten. Abstand halten. Just wondering, why is that the only one that's that spacey on the defensive there? Right, let's have a quick look. What's our supply situation like now? Yes, we do have trains running here. So let's have a quick look. If I look at that supply situation again here. Okay, so let's leverage what we got here for the moment being. Is that a supply hub as well? It doesn't say, does it? I know there's a supply hub there. Okay, let's go through this section here as well. Right, do I need to do that? Probably not. Why are we going there? Oh, lovely. These guys should really be on this front line here. Thank you. Angetreten. Cool. Let's uh, get this up and running again. So we're basically invading Russia here. At least this part of Russia. We're operating mostly from slightly more forward operating bases, which is fine. So I do need to boost my production of airplanes, I would say. Can I put extra planes into force here? Yeah, I do have a bunch of these here, as you can see. I can, of course, then work with that to basically work on the air over there. happening in terms of our yeah we're still working on that okay let's work on that cipher there then 
So it looks like Serbia is getting to be pretty big here as well, as you can see. We're currently in September here. And again, we're pushing through quite nicely down there. Currently, we are able to, hold on, do only 2.5% really. Well, probably should be able to push this up to slightly higher level. I just need to hold off for a little bit. I got this one as part of this I'm not quite sure you of course you should realize that we're basically on this line here now enough equipment here it looks like in terms of trucks no I don't have enough trucks I do have enough normal weapons it looks like but not enough trucks but okay that's okay for now Yeah, that's okay, I guess. We lost, ooh, okay, we lost a submarine. That's okay for now. As long as it doesn't keep on continuously happening. As you'll see here. some degree of success here as well. Okay, we're getting more units up to the front line, as you can see. What about a cannon, etc., etc.? Yes, fine. Improved a light tank. 
because there's a, a significant amount of damaged equipment that we basically are dealing with. Getting deliveries of this in any uh, from anyone? It says I'm importing it. Yes, from Sweden. I don't need it anymore because I now got a surplus here. All right, let's keep our eye here on what's happening in Italy. Angetreten. Ausrücken. Auf geht's. Okay. Befehle. Let's uh, give them a bit of a helping hand here because it looks like they are not really playing ball. Maybe they are playing ball, but not the right kind of ball. And of course that doesn't help if they're playing the wrong kind of ball games. Okay, I'm putting those troops back. In fact, interesting. Uh, which troops are these? These, of course, here. Why don't I actually have attack orders for these? there for now. that we're basically being able to at least we're able to push against some of these here Baronovich Baronovich whatever it's called Ask for military access, which of course makes our move through here a little bit easier because these two divisions I don't need to have on that front line there anymore. All right, this unit here. Is an infantry expert now. Okay, let's make him just show that. Make him show what he's got. What the heck are they doing? Oh, 
Okay. Mac uh, is that a mechanized division? That's a bit early, isn't it? To get mechanized divisions in already, but okay. How does that work? I guess there must be some rhyme or reason behind it. So that wasn't actually having much success. I think I'm going to try to form a bit of a front line there if I can. Do I actually have enough here to basically work on the infrastructure here? Yeah, we are working on that. At least this is my pipeline of stuff to do. Can get those done quickly. That makes the supply situation here far, far better. Cool. So we're no longer just down to 20,000. That will actually slowly start rising. Expand the dockyards, that's one thing I can do here. Coal liquidization, I think that's a good one to go for for now. Anglo-Italian alliance. In an unprecedented move, the new British government has distanced itself from their great war allies in France and have now instead announced an alliance with the Italians. Um, is that news? I'm pretty sure that you've done that before. And to be honest, I don't think the Italians are that happy with you. Because as you can see, they're substantially losing their home territory now. Okay. All right, let's see, 63%. Uh, we should be able to do that. What happened here? To me, it looks like they got abandoned, but yeah, you never know how that should be seen. It lost more convoys, which is perfect, nice, good. I can work on war propaganda if I wanted to. I don't want to here, to be honest. So for now, yes, I can of course recall that general now. I don't need him as of yet. Support equipment is my biggest issue here, to be honest. Let's uh, operate over there as well. Why am I not seeing much more success here? 
I'm not sure. See if we can push into there as well. Shouldn't be too hard a job. And this should be far, far easier now. And they're getting a lot of penalties, as you can see, because we got them fully encircled. or at least there was attrition first a second ago. Auf geht's. It's probably because we're in a, yeah, a marsh. We're not producing transport planes, really? Right. Base generation chance or basically area superiority is boosted. Let's work on this here. Air superior boosting. Lots of stuff is going on here. And as you can see, we are able to, of course, put up a nice defense here. I do need to get more infantry here, but I cannot get more infantry until I get more support equipment produced. Here, I want to build, of course, anti-air. Because at the moment, we're not getting much done otherwise. I keep on seeing that we're basically suffering here because of all the attacks on that territory. Garrus wins, yes, okay. Depot is there. We did capture another one here. Interesting. Let's have a quick look. So this one we can of course reinforce. And if I then look at that supply depot that we captured here. There we go. Yeah, all of those are set to basically use trucks now, as you can see. We should have uh, actually we got a shortage of trucks. Supply trucks should get priority here, as you can see. Please free up some stuff there. Sixty percent chance here. Right, 
lots of effort going into this particular war here just to try to basically secure this little yeah, corridor here and as you can see Italy there's not much left of it Why are they take this? Gosh, they're just not putting enough troops in here. That that's their only concern, only problem really. Palermo is their new capital. Okay. Bantoifel, is that Bantoifel? Right, yes. Weiter, weiter. Suchen Deckung. Achtung. Befehle. Befehle. Suchen Deckung. Right, let's see what we can do there in terms of reinforcing that. I do have to say, I had rather hoped. Ah, war bonds. Consumer good factories is reduced. Now at the moment we should see that we see this at 2%. Why is that 2%? Because of stability levels. As you can see we're currently going through the anti-democratic raids. We will be going through the same but then for the Soviets I potentially, potentially, not guaranteed as of yet. this here probably just want to hold them in place for now I'm quite confident that I am not going to be able to win that over there but I do need to basically have some effort in place to prevent them from being reinforced there in terms of oil can I get more yes I can get more Middle East uh, yeah they're pretty much at their limit Asia uh, I can get stuff from there I can get stuff from India as well but probably India is a better one That's mostly, of course, because of the way that that is all positioned. Okay, so let's say I don't need this anymore. Right, let's now go and reinforce this here. lose this this state here it looks like it oh well
we need our capabilities. We've got loads of those. So this is basically progressing nicely. What are we going to get next? Special forces capabilities. All of that is coming along steadily. Do want to keep stuff in place here if I can. As far as I can see, I can. Oh, look at that, they're starting to put troops along that border as well. Interestingly enough. Guys, let's just exterminate that one. There's only one of them left. It shouldn't take too long. It shouldn't be too much hassle. Too much effort. Hi guys, so unfortunately I got slightly interrupted during this recording, so I paused the recording but I actually forgot to pause the game. So if you look at this here carefully, we will basically see that at the start of the next episode will basically be, I think it's about a couple of days beyond, and you should see that in this particular screenshot here already. But yeah, we'll basically carry on with the story as we get to the next episode. Thanks guys, have a good one. Bye bye.